Hello, group. I'm back with my send of the day and, and uh, my six happy land. And finally, we're, you know, we're going to be done with them. And I think I saved the best for last. It's called Signature. Uh, this is the one that I, I, I guess the person who creates these, you know, he would want to be known for. And I think he knocked it out of the park with this. Um, personally, you know, I like Floris Honey Oud. I like that. And I'm sure I would like Montel Honey Oud. And Mrs. Floss, in particular, likes those, likes, likes Floris Honey Oud. And she really enjoys that and likes when I wear that. And so that was one of the reasons I picked this out. I thought Mrs. Floss going to like that. And it does have honey and oud. It has honey on the top, oud in the bait, in the middle. Um, but up top, it has honey, cinnamon, and blueberry. And I get a little touch of that in the beginning, that little sourness of the blueberry. Uh, and maybe a little spiciness from the, from the cinnamon and then that honey. But that oud quickly comes up, and so does something else, tobacco. The there's a tobacco in this that comes up. That's also, in, you know, in the middle. Um, and so you get that through there, too. And, and the only way I can describe this, like I've been wearing it now for about 45 minutes, um, I would describe this as Flores Honey Oud or Montel Honey Oud meets uh, Hurd. That's that's basically what I would what I would say. You know, you put them two together, throw them away, and you sort of get this, and that's pretty good. You know, pretty good uh, combination if you ask me. Uh, I do have Harrod, and I do have uh, Floris Honeyude. So that's what I'm getting now. And what's you know what's also intriguing is the base of this. It's going to have vanilla and tonka bean and amber uh, in there, and and I'm going to like that too. I have a feeling uh, when it gets down to the bottom. So this is, the, this is Signature, it's the last one. Um, you know, I'm really glad I got all six of these samples. There wasn't one I didn't like. Um, you know, but I'm not a reviewer. So I, I will never say, never, really never, that I don't like something, I don't like it. Uh, first of all, I won't say that because, you know, who cares what I like, you know? <laughs> really, who cares what I like? What you like is what's important. But secondly, I have learned that, you know, on paper, my first impressions are one thing. On skin, my first time applying are one thing. And fragrances grow on me. So for me to say I don't like something on my first wear, I wouldn't say that. You know, I would just say, you know, it's going to have to grow on me maybe. And I would never give anything less than a five. You know, on paper, I'll say a five. And that just means I really don't smell it too well. Um, you know, I, I would never negatively talk about a fragrance because... Um, you know, what I like, you may not. What you like, you may not. And, you know, an interesting analogy on that is I don't like uh, mint chocolate chip ice cream. I'll eat it. If it's there, it's the only ice cream. I'll eat it. But I don't like it. But I'm sure there's many, many, many of you who it's their favorite ice cream. So why would I say, you know, ah, that's horrible. That stinks. You know, it doesn't. This smells good on me. I'm sure it'll smell good on you. If you like the combination of honey, oud, tobacco, vanilla, this is something you would want to get. So as always, have a nice day, and I'll see you tomorrow.